the way you use language now must be a marriage of storytelling and social technology. It must be a marriage of a long-term investment in a relationship with your customers and real-time engagement. It must be a marriage of the bottom line of your company and the purpose of your brand. And if you do that, you won't just have a long and healthy relationship with your customers, they'll actually become your greatest champions. We need to end this false separation between living and giving, and to build contribution into the daily act of consumption. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not about demonizing capitalism, companies, or customers, but rather harnessing the power of the private sector to better share prosperity. You need to have a story around your mission, top left-hand corner there, a story around your mission, a singular, consistent story that you're going to tell for an extended period so you don't waste your marketing dollars broadcasting your schizophrenia. And then, secondly, you have to see each of the tactics, like it might be a product launch, it might be an event, it might be a, a special promotion. You need to see each of those tactics as chapters in that longer story arc. And then, in the bottom left-hand corner, you need to avoid the number one mistake that companies make, even if they're doing most of this right, is they suffer community attrition, which means I reach out to you, I've got engagement, I sell product, this is great, the six weeks is over of the launch, oh my God, I'm exhausted, that's fantastic, that's right, bye, and they all leave. And then for the next marketing tactic or campaign, you've got to build all that over again. Your community has disappeared. That engagement has disappeared. Instead, when you have that engagement, as soon as you're reaching a peak, you need to upgrade them to something else and reward them. It might be a special discount. It might be an offer they can offer their friends. It might be information on the new collection of a product that's coming out that nobody's heard of before. But whatever it is, you need to maintain that community over time, and that's when you get a self-sustaining community. And the goal of this is very simple. Who here is in a relationship? Who here has got a significant other? Husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, okay? Now, who here has two relationships going right now? I mean, no, um, who here? <laughs> Hello, darling, that's not true. Um, uh, <laughs> who here has three relationships? These lights weren't so bright, I could see the guy at the back going, yeah, it's, I, got, I got three. I was in Brazil speaking in December, and, like, and I asked the question, who here has got 10 relationships? And some guy at the back is just like this. And you almost believed him just from the whole hip thing, but anyway. <laughs> but you know how hard it is to maintain more than one relationship? You've got to maintain hundreds at one time now. You need to scale intimacy. Do you remember when technology would go to the company first, and then you'd incorporate that technology, then you'd release it to market? It doesn't happen that way anymore. These startups and these new companies come along and they release it straight to consumers. They're in permanent beta phase and they iterate as they go along. And so, not only do you as an advertiser or as a brand have to keep up with the technology, you've got to keep up with the way your customers are using it. How do we do this? How do we structure it? How does it play out if we put our shoulder behind this branded revolution? There are three parts. The first, is this fundamental partnership between brands and consumers, where there's this transaction. You get the consumer's goodwill, loyalty, and trust, and they'll buy your stuff, if you, in return, are more socially responsible. And this is a co-creative process, and there's numerous examples of this out there now. Secondly is a concept I call contributory consumption, but it builds on the wonderful work of Product Red and 1% for the Planet, where a small proportion of contribution is built into the sale of every product. But let's expand that. Let's take advantage of the opportunity that technology is providing. Let's expand it to retail, credit card, online, mobile, and virtual transactions. Americans will spend $6 billion a year on little virtual goods, digital things that don't exist to put in non-existent farms, on gaming platforms, inside social networks in 2014. We wonder why we're economically in trouble. But if you think about that, if we only took a fraction of the sales of all the transactions on these five levels, if you actually only took one cent on the dollar 
of all the transactions on all these five levels in only 5% of the private sector globally, you would absolutely dwarf the $14 billion raised by corporate foundations every year.